A few days passed since Emily's unsettling encounter with her father, and there was still no word from James. She finally decided to distract herself with the scheduled checkup. Mixed feelings? I just wish my husband was here. He couldn't make it today. Hopefully next time. Hello? Is this Emily Daniels? Yes, who's this? I'm calling from New Hope Emergency Room. Gavin Daniels was admitted with severe chest pains. Dad, is he okay? We're running tests now, but you must get here immediately. Dad, are you okay? I got a call from the hospital and they made it sound life-threatening. I'm okay, sweetheart. Why are you here then? (sighs) I've got a debt collector after me. And you're in a hospital because... I thought it was the easiest way to evade them. Fake a heart attack. Dad, this is extreme. Firstly, why are you in debt? And to someone that you'd go to such lengths to avoid? I made a bad investment, Tim. I was scammed and lost a lot of money that I didn't have in the first place. So you decided to scare me half to death? How was this even supposed to help you in the long run? I hoped being in the hospital would delay them coming after me. At least, till I'm discharged. Every time you go solo, chaos follows, and I'm left to pick up the pieces. I had to, Em. It's the only way I knew they wouldn't come for me. Before Emily could respond, two intimidating men barged in, changing the atmosphere in the room. Hiding from us, Miss Daniels? Is this your daughter? Please, don't involve her. She has nothing to do with this. Someone has to. Care to work something out for dear old dad, huh? Em, please. I'm begging you. Help me. You chose your vices over your family, Dad. I won't be dragged into your mess. We'll have to settle this another way. I won't let you harm him. He knew the terms when he borrowed from our boss. I will repay every cent, I promise. Just give me a bit more time. Time is something you no longer have, Mr. Daniels. We might reconsider if you have something else. Maybe the girl could. Stay away from her. Maybe we can find another way. Can I talk to your boss? What do you have in mind? Firstly, I want a guarantee of safety for both of us. And exactly how much does he owe? You're not in a position to make demands. Then there's nothing more to discuss. $250,000. $250,000? Dad, how did you get so deep? It escalated quickly. Interest, late fees. So what's your offer? I'll make an immediate payment of $50,000, and you give us three months for the rest. If we fail, come after both of us. Fifty grand up front. Do we have a deal? There will be consequences if we don't have the rest in three months. Agreed. If any harm comes to us within these three months, the deal is off. We will go to the authorities. You're playing with fire, girl. Maybe it's the only way to light up the darkness. As the two men retreated, Emily sank into a chair. I'm so sorry, Em. We have three months, Dad. Let's not waste them. Emily felt overwhelmed and unsteady as she entered her dimly lit house. $250,000? You can do this, Em. You faced worse. Maybe I should resume my episode of rekindled heartache and clear my head. She tried to distract and encourage herself, but felt uneasy for some reason. Why does it feel so... off? Get a grip, Emily. This is your home. Emily slowly moved ahead. An unusual silence enveloped the house, disrupted only by the sound of someone a room over. It can't be one of those tech collectors. They promised. But can I trust their words? Hello? Nervously, she walked towards the kitchen, listening for any strange noises. She found James cooking, smiling, but was distracted by his bandaged hand. James? What happened? Where have you been? I got in trouble with the Murphys. What the? We were all so worried. People thought you were dead. After knowing about my embezzlement, Grandpa cut my access to the company money. I got desperate and borrowed from the Murphys. And what happened to your hand? Anna's suggestion. Anna? As in your almost wife, Anna? She's become quite influential in the family. And she's ruthless. James, you know how dangerous the Murphys are. Why did you even think to borrow from them? After Grandpa cut me off, my debts were piling up. The lifestyle, the partying, the gambling, it all became a way to escape. And the Murphys, they offered a way out. You should have come to me or your parents. We're family, James. I I was embarrassed. I thought I could fix things on my own. Why is everyone acting on their own? Okay, so you borrowed from them. But how did you end up this deep? And why didn't you pay them back? It wasn't just the loan, Emily. 
whenever I thought I was close to settling it, something would come up, a, a bad bet, a party I felt obligated to host, more debts, and the interest they charged was astronomical. The debt grew faster than I could pay. And Anna? I always thought she was just a privileged heiress. Never imagined she'd be a part of this. <laughs> it turns out she's the brains behind their operation now. I thought our relationship would give me some leeway with the Murphys, but it became the opposite. Anna saw my debt as a way to control me. So when you couldn't pay... They took me, kept me in one of their warehouses. They wanted to send a message to anyone who might think of crossing them. God, James! How did you manage to get out? I didn't exactly get out. I was released, but not without cost. What exactly did they do to you? They cut off my pinky, Em. James raised his hand to show his missing finger, and Emily was horrified. Oh my god! James! <sighs> they wanted to leave a lasting reminder, a symbol of what happens when you don't settle with the Murphys. Anna was right there, watching the whole thing, without even a flicker of emotion. How could she stand there and let them do that to you? She used to love you. <laughs> I'm not sure she really ever did. Perhaps it was all just a game to her, a cunning strategy to get close to the tailors while keeping me on a tight leash. But why? Why did Anna do this? She could have made her point without dismembering you. To make a statement. To prove that in our world, no one gets a free pass. She told me that every time I looked at my hand, I'd remember the cost of not putting the Taylor family ring on hers. The room thickened with tension as Emily tried to process this revelation. It was all too much to process for her. First her father, and now James. Both were drowning in debts, and their lives were in danger. How will Emily get through this? Or are things going to get worse? Hi, Emily here. Hope you are loving Sweet Little Lies. Keep following us as we release a new episode of Season 1 Daily on YouTube. You can jump the queue and unlock all seasons of the audio series by installing the Pocket FM app now. Just click on the link in the description. To watch the next episode of Season 1, tap here. And to watch the full Season 1, click on the playlist.